Welcome to She Cleans. Before we get started, I just have to show you my hair. Look at the hair. It is so on fleek, if you say that. No, I did not do it myself. I cannot do hair, but my friend Tiffany came over and did my hair for me. So if you want to see a video on amazing gym hairstyles, check out the video right there. But for now, we are going to talk about donuts. Do you love donuts? Because I love donuts, and I love donuts when they're healthy, too. So today, using very simple ingredients like oat flour and bananas, we are going to make at-home, gluten-free donuts that are healthy. Because you know how sometimes they come out with gluten-free stuff that's not actually healthy? This stuff is healthy, natural, good for you, and so fun to make. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna start off with one ripe banana. Using your fork, and the fork technique, just mash that bibbit up until it becomes all slurpy, just like that. And add in some oat flour to give it some fluff and texture. Did you know you can actually make your own oat flour? Just basically buy rolled oats and blend them up, they get oat flour. Okay, some eggs, some honey for some sweetness, and some coconut oil so that it tastes a little bit fatty, healthy fats, and it is satiating. Some vanilla extract so that when you take this out of the oven, you can get a whiff of vanilla, and it's amazing. Stevia, some sea salt to bring those flavors out, and you wanna mix it up. Now, grab a donut pan, and fill up little donut circle thingies with your batter. And then 325 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven for nine minutes, and now it is time to make the glaze. So, you see right there in the middle, that's your Greek yogurt. We're gonna add in some mashed banana, mm -hmm, more banana. We got two teaspoons of stevia and beet powder. Check out how amazingly pink this beet powder makes our glaze. It's gonna be so cool. So, all you have to do is glaze each one using a spatula, and you can pretty much top your donuts with anything that you want. Uh-huh, I got some cranberries going on, I got some nuts, some coconuts, some astronaut bananas. Ta-da! We just made a half dozen of donuts. Aren't they so cute? They just made me want to cry. I love them so much. Each one with its own little personality. Oh. I'm so proud of them. Are you ready for the taste test? By the way, those of you who have been OG Cheap Clean Eats fans, did you like that slow-mo eating with the wind blowing and the sexy music? Personally, I thought it was hilarious, but some people thought it was kind of too sexual, so we got rid of that. But I'd like to bring it back, so let me know in the comments below how it made you feel or you do something totally different. But right now, either way, I'm gonna eat it. So here we go, which one should I pick? Mm, I think I'm gonna pick the astronaut bananas because I wanna see how that taste. How beauteous is this one? Are you ready? Here we go. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I love this because it's not too sweet. It's just like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's not too banana-y. You know how sometimes banana bread can just completely taste like a baked banana? This tastes like a bready, cakey muffin donut. It is so moist. The crunchiness from the astronaut banana is amazing, I love that. And it pairs so well with this beet powder icing, which gives you a natural pink glaze without using any artificial coloring. So it's super healthy for you. And it's also slightly sweet on top, but not too sweet, because I hate it when icing is too sweet. Top your donuts with anything that you want, and basically give each of your donuts a little bit of personality. So I hope you really enjoyed this episode, guys. Let me know in the comments below which one of these donuts you would eat and I will see you next time. Okay, bye guys, I love you so much.